वेलकम टू आर चैनल ब्राइट मैथ्स लेट अस लर्न अबाउट द पैराबोला सस्पेंशन ब्रिज लेट अस सी द पिक्चर्स दिस इज अ ब्रिज दिस इज अ सस्पेंशन ब्रिज हियर सी दिस पैराबोला शेप दिस इज ओपन अपवर्ड्स सी द अदर पिक्चर दिस इज आल्सो अ सस्पेंशन ब्रिज here this is the parabola shape and see this this is open upwards in this parabola note that this is the vertex so the lowest point of the cable is the vertex and these two are pillars and here we have these cables called supports see the another picture this is also a suspension bridge here this is the parabola shape and note that this is open upwards and this is the roadway this point is the lowest point of the cable that is the vertex of the parabola and we know that these two are pillars these cables are called supports Now let us see the problems. A cable of a suspension bridge is in the form of a parabola whose span is 40 meters. The roadway is 5 meters below the lowest point of the cable. If an extra support is provided across the cable 30 meters above the ground level, find the length of the support if the height of the pillars are 55 meters. first we have to draw the diagram after that mark all the points and then we can do the sum very easily here consider the suspension bridge to be open upwards so this is the parabola shape this is open upwards and this lowest point is the vertex for this vertex we have to draw the x axis and y axis so this is x axis and this is y axis and this bottom line is the roadway now parabola both corners we have the pillars so these two are pillars we have the extra support so this line p is a support similarly this line q is also support and note that both sides we have same distance because the parabola is symmetric on both sides the question is that we have to find the length of the support so finally we have to find this length pq this is the span of the parabola so here span means horizontal distance of the parabola that is given 40 and the roadway is 5 meter below the lowest point of the cable this vertex is the lowest point so the road is 5 meter below so this distance is 5 and here also we can mark this is 5 and this is also 5 now the support is 30 meter above the ground level so this support q is 30 meter from the ground level so already we have marked 5 here so subtract 5 30 minus 5 25 is this remaining distance similarly the pillar height is given 55 this pillar full height is 55 already we have entered 5 so subtract 5 remaining 50 now let us mark the point from the vertex this horizontal distance is 20 note that given the full horizontal distance is 40 so divide by 2 we get 20 so from the center the horizontal distance is 20 and the height is vertical distance is 50 so we mark the point as 20 comma 50 and note that we have to mark the point from the vertex only similarly for this support q this horizontal distance take it as x1 and we have the vertical distance 25 so from the vertex 
the horizontal distance is x1 vertical distance is 25 therefore this point q is x1 comma 25 we have to find x1 after that taking twice we can get the full length pq we can do the problem very easily the concept is that write the equation of parabola and just substitute the points here this parabola is open upwards so for that the equation is x square equal to 4ay and given that the vertex of the bridge lies 5 meter above the roadway so that is why we marked 5 here and the horizontal span is 40 meter and so we marked all the points in the diagram itself so now from the diagram we see that this point 20 comma 50 lies on the parabola therefore we can substitute this point in this equation here x value is 20 so 20 square equal to 4a into y value is 50 this is 400 equal to 200a so from this a equal to 400 divided by 200 which is equal to 2 next point x1 comma 25 so this also lies on the parabola so now we are going to substitute this point substituting in this equation here x value is x1 so x1 square equal to 4ay 4 into a value 2 into 25 we have to find x1 that means we have to take the square root so the easy method is don't multiply this number straight away we take the square root that is x1 equal to root of 4 is 2 root of 2 is root 2 root of 25 is 5 now multiply the numbers this 5 into 2 is 10 so we get 10 root 2 see the diagram the x1 distance is from the vertex this horizontal distance that is 10 root 2 we have to find the full distance that is pq so this x1 same distance we have other side also because the parabola is symmetric so we have to take twice this distance so therefore the length of the support pq is twice this x1 that is 20 root 2 meter this is the answer see the next problem parabolic cable of a 60 meter portion of the road bed of a suspension bridge are positioned 3 meter above road bed vertical cables are to be spaced 6 meter along this portion of the road bed calculate heights of first two vertical cables from the vertex if height of pillars are 16 meter here also we have to draw the diagram and mark all the points after that substituting the point we can get the answer this is a suspension bridge so consider the suspension bridge to be open upwards so this is diagram for the suspension bridge so we have to take it as open upward and the lowest point is the vertex for this vertex we draw the x-axis and y-axis and this bottom line is the road bed and we know that both sides we have the pillars so these two lines are pillars and this horizontal distance of the parabola is 60 meter see the question it is given 60 meter and given that the parabola is 3 meter above road bed so this bottom line is the road bed from the road bed the parabola distance is 3 meter so we mark 3 here so same 3 we have to mark it here also given that the height of the pillar is 16 so this full height is 16 
already we marked 3 so subtract 3 16 minus 3 13 now let us take the two cables pq is the first cable and rs is the second cable and given that the cables are to be spaced 6 meter from the vertex the first cable is 6 meter distance again the second cable from the first cable the distance is 6 meter and take this distance as y1 and this distance y2 these two are vertical distances and note that when we mark the point we have to mark the point from the vertex only because this is only the origin now let us mark the points this point is 30 comma 13 because this full horizontal distance is 60 take half of that 30 so from the vertex the horizontal distance is 30 similarly from this x axis the vertical distance is 13 so this point is 30 comma 13 similarly the point p is 6 comma y1 the horizontal distance is 6 and the vertical distance we take it as y1 similarly the point r is 12 comma y2 because this horizontal distance is 6 plus 6 12 and this vertical distance is y2 now we have marked the points write the equation of the parabola and then substitute the points we can get the answer here the parabola is open upwards so for that the equation is x square equal to 4ay here substitute this first point 30 comma 13 so this point lies on the parabola here x value is 30 so 30 square equal to 4a into y value 13 squaring this 900 equal to 4a into 13 this 13 cross multiply another side we get 4a equal to 900 divided by 13 now it is given that the first cable is 6 meter from the vertex so therefore the point 6 comma y1 lies on the parabola we can substitute this point in this equation here x value is 6 so 6 square equal to 4a 4a value is 900 divided by 13 into y is y1 now let us find y1 just to cross multiply this 13 6 squared is 36 into 13 divided by 900 here we can cancel by 12 36 3 times and cancel 900 by 12 we get 75 times now 3 into 13 is 39 divided by 75 dividing this we get 0.52 now see the diagram this vertical distance is y1 we have to find full height pq so already we have the road bed to x axis height is 3 now we have got y1 so we have to add both therefore pq equal to y1 is 0.52 plus 3 adding this we get 3.52 therefore the height of the first vertical cable is 3.52 meter similarly the second vertical cable is 12 meter from the vertex therefore the point 12 comma y2 lies on the parabola so substituting this point in this equation x value is 12 so 12 square equal to 4a is 900 divided by 13 into y is y2 from this y2 equal to 
12 squared 144 cross multiply this 13 another side so into 13 divided by 900 now we can cancel by 12 144 12 times 975 times now multiplying this 12 into 13 156 divided by 75 dividing this we get 2.08 and see the diagram this y2 height is 2.08 here the road height is 3 so we have to add these two therefore r is equal to y2 is 2.08 plus road height is 3 so adding this we get 5.08 therefore the height of the second vertical cable is 5.08 meter thanks for watching